Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm Dr. Palandit and you're watching Dr. Education. Welcome to my channel. As you know, I make videos about health and healthcare topics and all my videos are directly referenced from the internationally accepted US National Medical Library. So the information here is the latest and the most authentic information. You can trust this information. So today I am going to talk about alkalosis. Why somebody's blood or somebody's body can become alkalosic, alkalotic. Why would there be a excess base accumulation in the body? So we are going to talk about why it happens, how you can treat it and what are the basic reasons uh, behind it. We have already discussed acidosis in the last video and I hope you have understood the concept of acidosis. A little bit similar concept is there for alkalosis, basically it is the opposite but there are certain uh, aspects here which we need to understand. So I am going to start. So I'm going to explain everything today. So let's start. If you want to know about health and have health concerns, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. You'll be notified about all upcoming videos. So guys, alkalosis is a condition in which body fluids, your body fluids, your blood has excess base excess alkalis so this is opposite of excess of acid that means it is alkalosis opposite of acidosis so why would there be cause obviously as we all know we have already discussed that kidneys and lungs are the basic organs which help maintain the proper balance of ph and proper balance of these chemicals these acids and base in the body and decrease in the carbon dioxide level carbon dioxide or increase in the bicarbonate levels makes the body alkaline because carbon dioxide makes the blood acidic and bicarbonate makes it alkaline. So if carbon dioxide is more or bicarbonate is less your body will become alkaline. So this is called alkalosis. Why would that happen? Obviously it's your lungs job to take out carbon dioxide from your blood and push it away while you exhale in your breathing. So if for any reason your breathing is very fast, hyperventilate, if you hyperventilate then what is happening a lot of carbon dioxide is pushed out from your body and a lot of oxygen is pushed in. This can happen if you are at a higher altitude, if there is some less oxygen around you, if there is less, less oxygen in the blood you can that can stimulate hyperventilation, if there is less oxygen in the lungs. If there is actually a lung disease, if there is a fever, these all things can lead to hyperventilation and even liver disease, aspirin poisoning can also lead to these conditions. It can also lead to acidosis also. Liver disease can lead to acidosis as well as alkalosis. And just like acidosis, alkalosis is also of two types, respiratory and metabolic. So we have seen respiratory alkalosis in which the body pushes out a lot of carbon dioxide very fast. Respiratory alkalosis happens. Now if we talk about metabolic alkalosis, that is because of too much alkali, too much bicarbonates in your blood. And this can happen because of certain kidney diseases. Certain kidney diseases, right, renal tubular acidosis can cause acidosis and certain other kidney diseases can cause metabolic alkalosis. So both things can happen in a kidney problem. Then if you are having prolonged vomiting, vomiting can lead to excess loss of chloride, extreme lack of chloride that is called hypochloremic acid, alkalosis, hypochloremic alkalosis because of loss of chloride. There is something called as hypokalemic alkalosis also which is caused in kidneys response to an extremely low or lack of potassium. If your blood potassium is very low, this can actually uh, trigger hypokalemic alkalosis because of your kidneys. Kidney will respond like that by, by increasing the bicarbonates, producing more bicarbonates, saving the bicarbonates. So this thing, lack of potassium, low potassium levels can happen because of certain medicines. For example, diuretics, water pills. 
then there is something called as compensated alkalosis. Compensated alkalosis occurs when the body returns the acid base balance, returns the acid base balance to normal. So if there is an alkalosis, the body tries to bring it back to the normal. If there is an acidosis, the body still tries to bring it back to the normal by doing what? Kidneys and lungs, they act. If kidney is not functioning properly, lungs will act more, try to bring it back to normal. If lung not functioning, kidney will try to bring it back to normal. This is called as compensated acidosis or compensated alkalosis. So what will happen if your body, if your kidneys, your lungs, they fail to bring this balance back to normal. If it is not getting back to normal, what will happen? You will have confusions which can progress to stupor or coma. You can have certain lightheadedness, you can have hand tremors, you can have muscle twitchings, nausea, vomiting, numbness, tingling numbness in the face, hands, feet. You can have muscle spasm, prolonged muscle spasm like titany. So you can have those things as a symptom of alkalosis, very severe alkalosis. Then how do you diagnose alkalosis? Just like acidosis, a, re, a arterial blood gas analysis, ABG can be done to check your blood pH, your oxygen levels, your carbon dioxide, bicarbonate, lactic acid, then glucose, hemoglobin, potassium, sodium, everything can be measured by an ABG. All these things are very important, very good test, arterial, arterial blood gas analysis. Then in order to find out the reason and associated problems, uh, we can do other tests like electrolyte imbalance tests, basic metabolic panels, we can do urine analysis, urine pH, we can do tests for the liver, uh, kidney functions, heart function, lung functions, etc. So ultimately, what is the treatment? The treatment of alkalosis or acidosis will ultimately depend upon the cause. If there is mild acidosis, your body itself will basically get things back to normal in some time if your kidneys and your lungs are normal. But if the problem is more and actually there is moderate to severe alkalosis in your body, the problem has to be found and that problem has to be treated. Right. But yes, there is something in alkalosis which you can do. If alkalosis is because of hyperventilation, you can actually see that you are hyperventilating and you are losing a lot of carbon dioxide. In that case, you can actually breathe into a paper bag. And while you are breathing into a paper bag, what happens? You can actually retain the carbon dioxide in your body and this will improve your alkalosis or if your oxygen levels are calm, or if your oxygen levels are less you can actually receive oxygen that will again help so ultimately the treatment of basic reasons why these are these acidosis or alkalosis are caused is the basic cure for this problem and medicines may be used to correct the chemical loss uh, such as potassium or chloride which is causing your alkalosis in such cases and your doctor will do the necessary tests, examinations and history taking to find out the reason. So the idea behind all these things is to find the reason because alkalosis can lead to a lot of complications also. They can lead to arrhythmias, comas, electrolyte imbalance because of low potassium arrhythmias can happen. So even loss of consciousness uh, can happen, breathing difficulties can increase scissors, seizure problems, convulsions can happen. So alkalosis is not also, is also a very serious problem. So that's all about alkalosis. I hope you got the point. It's not about just taking a lot of acid uh, to balance things. It's about finding what is wrong, finding why you are having this alkalosis if you are and first of all finding whether you are having it or not. So get tested before experimenting on your body. So that's my message. And lastly, if you have any questions, don't forget to write it down in the comments and share these videos to every single person you know because knowledge is prevention. And till next time, I'm Dr. Paramjeet. And those who don't know me, I'm a consultant physician and cardiologist in Yashoda Super Specialty Hospital, Nehrunagar, Delhi, NCR. And this is my channel. This is your channel for education, simplified medical education. I'll see you tomorrow. Till next time, stay connected, stay healthy.